Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to use a Skype. So today we are going to go through a simple beginner's guide to using a Skype. By the end of this video, you will know how to set up a Skype, add contacts, make calls and customize some basic settings. So let's dive in. To get started, we'll need to download the Skype application. And in order to do this, head over to any browser on your PC, go to the search bar, type in a Skype, hit enter. Now, you will see the first link that will be www.skype.com. Simply click on the download Skype button under that. Or you can also click on this Skype link that is at the top. And you will see this page where you can easily download Skype by clicking on this button. So you can get an overview of Skype by navigating through this page and click on download Skype. Now, when you click on download Skype, you'll be promoted to this page where you can get the Skype application for Windows 10 and 11. And if you're looking for another device, you can choose between mobile, desktop, tablet, web and Alexa. So I'm going to click on get a Skype for Windows 10 and 11. Now I will simply click on open button here and it is going to navigate me to my Microsoft store page. So as you can see, I have already downloaded and installed a Skype. That's why I'm seeing open button. You will see the install button instead of this open button. Click on install, download Skype and click on the open button and it is going to show you this page. So this is the login page here. You'll have to simply click on login or sign up. Now, when you click on login or sign up, you'll have to simply enter your name or email or phone. And if you're new to Skype, click on no account, create one button and enter your email in this field, your phone number here, follow the prompts, type in the OTP received on your email or phone number and create an account. So after creating the account, you'll be successfully able to sign up on Skype and log in using your user credentials. After logging in, you will see this page. So this is a Skype's dashboard. So if you already have a Microsoft account, use it to sign in. If not, click the create an account button and follow the steps to register. You'll enter your email or phone number and create a password. You might be asked for a verification code. So keep an eye out. Once you're signed in, you will see your Skype home screen. To add contact, click on the contacts button at the top and click on new contact. Now you can easily invite friends to Skype through SMS, email or more, or simply click on add phone number and save number to your Skype contact. For example, I can find people here or click on add phone number. Now I will have to enter my recipient's name and choose a country code from this by searching here. After this, I will have to enter a mobile number in this field and choose whether it is a mobile, home or office number. After entering the number, enter the person's name and click on save. Now, when I click on save, you will see the new contact appearing at the left of the screen that is my contact section. So you have chats, calls, contacts and Skype today section. You can navigate to chats and all the recent chats you will have with people will appear here. For example, this is a meeting. I will click on it and all the history of that meeting will appear in this screen. I can simply type a message for this meeting here, click on add files and upload a file to this chat. I can record a clip or click on this three dotted icon and choose to add this to my contact, send a location, video message, schedule a call or create a poll for this specific chat. You can also click on new chat button here or if you want to start a group chat, you can select this, enter a group name, hit enter, select people you would want to add to your group, click on done. Now this is going to quickly create a group for you. You can also invite people by copying this link and sending your friends to join it. As you can see, I'm able to successfully chat in this group with three participants. Now we have this calls button. When I click on this button, I'll be able to see the recent calls I will have with people and you'll be able to start a call again. That is a voice call or a video call by selecting these buttons. You can also click on meet now and select host a meeting or join a meeting. After you do this, you'll have to click on a start call button at the top and choose a start call button again. Now this is unmute button. So these buttons are used to unmute your calls, microphone and video. You can click on a start call. So I successfully hosted and ended a call by doing this. Now you will see the history appearing just right here. So that was all about making voice and video calls. After this, you can click on this three dotted icon at the top, select settings and you'll be able to see your account profile and information for the Skype. 
you'll be able to see the general of your app. You can see the privacy, appearance, audio and video, calling and message, notification, contacts and all the settings that you want to do in this section. You can also just click on this small circle and click on this active button and choose your profile's visibility, whether you are active, away or in the do not disturb or invisible mode. Now you can click on this button again, choose invite friends and invite people to Skype as I shown earlier. You can reach people anywhere at low rates using Skype to phone, a Skype number. Now you have this manage section where you can see your Skype profile by clicking here and you'll see your Skype name, email, birthday, phone number and all these things. Now you can see your bookmarks in this section, all the clips gallery in this section. You can sign in with a QR code by selecting this and sign out using this button. So you can navigate to a Skype, click on a start call, a start your meeting, host it and you would have successfully used a Skype. And that's it. Now you know the basics of Skype from adding contacts, making calls to sending messages and customizing messages. Skype is a great tool for keeping in touch whether it's for work or staying connected with friends and family. So if this tutorial helped you, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more beginner friendly guides. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.